Today we're gonna to show you how to take your M3 badges from chrome to black. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. We are getting rid of the chrome on this car, starting with this M3 badge. Now, does it look terrible? Eh, it's not that great, but this looks incredible. So I can't wait to put this on here. Now, this process is super easy to do at home, so much so that it's a nice day. We figured let's just do it outside. Now let's go over the tools that we're going to be using in today's video. Now the first thing that you're going to need is a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, grab a hair dryer, it's gonna work just as well. Next, you're going to need some fishing line. You're going to need some painter's tape. You're going to need some 70% isopropyl alcohol. You're going to need a clean microfiber towel. And then last but not least, I recommend one of these 3M eraser wheels. So with that, let's get started. Now the first part of the process is to make sure that the area is clean. So take some of your rubbing alcohol, and we're just gonna clean the general area around it. Now the reason that we use 70% over 91 is this is better for your paint. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to mark out where the existing badge is by using painter's tape. So just simply get some painter's tape. And you wanna line it up underneath like that. And you can do this side. And last but not least, this side. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take a piece of fishing line about ah, two to three feet or so. I'm gonna hold this over here for now. And we're going to heat our badge up. Now today's a pretty nice day, so we don't really need to heat it up all that much. The colder it is outside, the more you wanna heat it because what that's going to do is it's going to soften the adhesive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it up, then we're gonna take our fishing line and just like we do with trunk spoilers, we're going to gently remove the badge. Now, sometimes you can heat it up to where you can literally just pull it off without using the fishing line. So let's start heating it and we'll see if we need to use the fishing line or not. Now, it's very important to note, you never wanna stick your heat gun in the same location for a long time because you can burn your paint. So be very careful of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the three and I just have our heat gun on the lowest setting possible, okay? So you can see, you know, it's very, very, very flexible. I could pull that off with my hand, but just in case you guys have trouble, I'll show you with the fishing line method. So basically you just take the fishing line, you're going to use a sawing motion. It's gonna come off just like that, okay? Just like that. Now what I like to do, when I'm using fishing line, you'll notice that there's no more adhesive on here and it's all on here. That's because I like to favor the badge opposed to the paint. Now, are you gonna scratch your paint with this? It's possible. I mean, I'm not gonna say that you can't do it, but if you favor going more towards the badge rather than your car, you're gonna lessen those risks. Now, normally, we would just throw this out. But we thought it would be more fun to put it on Chris's car and see how long it takes for him to notice. <laughs> now before we use that 3M wheel, I like to see how much of this a residue that I can get off with my hand. So I'm just gonna lightly heat it up. And the best thing to do is to just get your hand and roll. Just like that. So same thing over here, you just heat it up. And you just roll it up, just like that. Okay, so as you can see, I've already got 99.9% .9 off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just use my eraser wheel from 3M. And basically what this is designed to do is it's designed to be super soft and basically mimic the motion of doing that. So I just have a little outline, I could polish it off, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you how to use this. So basically you wanna put it on um, some kind of drill and you wanna just go at a very slow pace. You wanna go, kind of in this motion where if you don't want to go with the wheel, you want to go against the wheel and that's how it's going to pull everything off. And then just like a pencil eraser, 
you're going to see this wear down. So you're going to have some residue. You just wipe that off afterwards. Then I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol again and I'm going to clean off this residue and dry it off. Then you're gonna take your new badge and you'll notice that there's a white strip on the back and there's clear transfer tape on the front. So we're gonna carefully remove the white tape from behind. And what's cool about the clear tape is you can see exactly where it needs to go to make sure that everything is lined up perfect. So that is the exact spot. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press and hold it for about 30 seconds so that that tape can fully adhere. So once you've done that, you can pull this off and then you can pull off all your tape. And in less than 15 minutes with minimal tools, check out how amazing that looks. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. For information on all of the parts and tools we used in today's video, be sure to see the links in the description. If you like today's video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. You want a red one, you said? I want to get one plated M340 in red. <laughs> to go with my red. What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Got an M car now. <laughs>